Hello everyone, I'm Casey Holmes. Welcome back to The Makeup Room. Did any of you read the Goosebumps books when you were a kid? If you did, you'll remember an evil ventriloquist dummy named Slappy. Slappy might be the only thing creepier than a clown and he'll be haunting the big screen next week when Goosebumps hits Regal Cinemas. So this is the look we're gonna do today. It's the old school Slappy with really intense, scary eyebrows, bigger eyes, and then of course the dark lips. So let's just get started. Everyone, find anything you can to barricade the doors. We cannot let the monsters inside. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is apply a base, and I'm just gonna take my same old foundation for this since we aren't gonna do anything too crazy. I'm just going to apply this all over to even up my skin so everything really pops. And then I'm going to use concealer under my eyes and all my lids just to brighten everything up, but then also apply as a base for all the eyeshadow and stuff we're gonna put on the eyes. Okay, and then just to make sure everything lasts all night, we're just gonna set it in place once again with our yellow highlight right here. You don't have to use a yellow highlight for this, you can use just a regular powder. Then set your lids as well just so they last. Okay, now Slappy has really hollow eyes right here, so what we're gonna do is take like a medium brown color and put it right above our crease just to kind of mimic that. So you can go back into this palette, and I'm gonna take this one right here, which is the light contour first, and see how dark this is on my lids. And I'm gonna take a smaller, more precise blending brush like this, which is the E25 from Sigma. And again, this is our crease, so we're just gonna go right above it, and we're gonna take it all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner. And then I'm gonna go in with this deep contour shade and just add a little bit more to make it a little bit more deep. And now we're gonna fill in the brows, and I'm just gonna take a regular black eyeliner. This one is from NARS, and this one will last you all night too since it's a long wear eyeliner and it doesn't smudge. And his brows kind of come to a point in the center, so we're gonna try to mimic that as best as possible. And I'm going to extend the brow out first, and I'm going to kind of take it up, and then come right back down. And then really quickly, I'm gonna go in with a matte black shadow, whichever one you have will work, and an eyebrow brush, and I'm going to fill them in just a little bit more. And this will also set them in place so they don't just start moving since it is more of a cream product on there. And then I'm going to sharpen out these brows. So I'm gonna take a concealer palette. This one is just from NYX. You don't need anything crazy expensive since we are going a little wild on the eyebrows. And I'm just going to take a flat brush and I'm gonna take one of the lightest shades in the palette and we're gonna carve out these brows just to make them look a little bit more sharp and intense. And then I'm just going to take this beige highlight in the palette and put that right over it. And then going back in with that original light contour we used, I'm going to touch up the crease. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the top lashes first. So I'm gonna take this black eyeliner one more time and I'm going to actually put this right on the top waterline. This will just make the lashes look a little bit fuller and you won't see skin. And then you just wanna put some mascara on. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. And then for false lashes, we're gonna do something a little bit more bold. So I'm going to take these from Velour. I'm gonna take the lashes named Full of It, so they're really full and dramatic. And we're gonna put this right on top after we measure out how much we need to cut off. Looks about right. And then we're gonna use a clear lash glue since we don't have any eyeliner on top. And that will make sure you don't see any of the glue when we put this on. So after it gets a little tacky, we can just plop these on. Okay, so you could obviously go with much more dramatic and intense lashes, but I like to have like a girly girl kind of thing going on, so my doll will be a little bit more feminine. <laughs> and then what I'm gonna do is take a white eyeliner, which is key for this look. You can use anything. Um, this one is from Mehron, and it's a really nice eyeliner. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first put this on our waterline, and then 
we're gonna take this below the lower lash line. So what I'm gonna do is follow from inner corner to my outer corner. And we're just gonna run this under like that. How far you want to go is totally up to you. You just wanna make sure you connect it from the inner corner and outer corner, just so it gives the illusion of a bigger, wider eye. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that with a white eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use this one in the Morphe palette. This palette is great if you're gonna do Halloween looks or something, because it has pretty much any color that you're gonna need. I'm just gonna press this right on top of that. This will just set that in place, make it look a little more intense. And then what we're gonna do is take a liquid liner. I'm using this one for Makeup Forever. It's matte, and I think matte just looks best. And I'm going to outline that white. And then what we're gonna do is add some false lashes. I'm using Charlotte's Web by Velour Lashes again. I just really like their lashes. They look pretty natural. Um, so I'm gonna use this. And you kinda wanna follow where the smallest part is, is where your inner corner needs to be, and the longest part is gonna be the outer corner. And what you're gonna do is flip it upside down, just so the lashes are going over like that instead of up. And then just do the same thing you would do if you were putting on your upper lashes. Just let it get tacky, and then apply them. Okay, so while we let those dry, we're going to move on to the face. And I'm gonna do the same three dots that he has, just because I think it adds a little bit of character. So I'm gonna take that same matte black liner from Makeup Forever, and we're just going to follow it where he's got it. So, he's got three up top. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that same Makeup Forever eyeliner and I'm just going to draw the two lines right here at the corner of my mouth going down to create that like doll-like effect. So you can just trace it first and then clean it up. And then we're just gonna go back in and clean it up a little bit. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and move on to lips. And I'm going to do kind of like an ombre look real quick. So I'm going to take two different lip liners. I'm using Blackmail First from Urban Decay. And we're just going to line the outer part of the lips and then just fill them in. So just have it like that. And then we're gonna go in with a lighter shade. And this one is Urban Decay's Bad Blood. So then that way it just kind of adds some dimension and it looks kind of cool to have more of an ombre lip with this. And then that is the look. And here is the full slappy. This look makes a great Halloween costume, sure to impress your friends and maybe freak them out a little bit. <laughs> Goosebumps creeps into Regal Cinemas on October 16th, so get your tickets now by clicking the link below. And don't be a dummy, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos.